Frank 151, started in ATL. The first time we saw Frank was in 90, 98, 99. Frank's role in Atlanta was highlighting and covering the underground. And really, again, it was just literally our friends, like the people that were covered in the magazine, everything from DJ Drama to Clever. You know, it was a fixture in the scene, and I watched its rise and go from, you know, something that felt like it was started in the Atlanta backyard to seeing the magazine all over the country and really all over the world for that matter. Frank has been down since I can remember. I mean, they're just the illest. They bring all the elements of culture together from fashion, hip hop, skateboarding, snowboarding, graffiti, all the different elements and things that I've looked up to growing up. Frank 151 brings together and puts it in one book. From cute to sexy to funny, I think it has a little bit of everything. So there was always this like omnipresence of 151. It's about being attached to what's brand new. Like Frank has done over time and time again. It's giving you another outlook on, on things, you know what I mean? It's deeper into the culture of certain things that we don't know, you know what I mean? The reason uh, when I think uh, people get down with Frank is because Frank's a cool ass little uh, book. It makes sense that Frank gets the shine that it deserves now because it's always had its, you know, finger on the pulse of Dope shit, culture. They're gonna be around for a long time. I see them going to the top, you know what I mean? Whatever the future of, of our culture is gonna be is, is gonna be Frank 151. They're gonna be on the front of it. It's here to stay, man, period, without a doubt.